What's good guys, Celtics Productions here, and we have some good news. My computer is fixed, well, my original computer is not fixed, it's in the shop, but I have a temporary Dell right now, and it's compatible with my beat program that I use, so I downloaded it onto this Dell, and I've been able to make beats lately, so stay tuned. I'm going to take you through a process of a beat that I made called Theories. I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get straight into it. Alright, so during the beginning of this process of making this beat, um, I had downloaded the Everest soundtrack. When I pulled out this uh, Everest soundtrack, there were just a whole bunch of sounds that I really liked with it. And uh, I just sat back and listened to it. This is what it sounds like. This is what I heard that kind of like attracted my, my ear. I'm hearing the violin and I'm just like, man, if I can... If I can flip this up a little bit and uh, maybe turn down the pitch on this on these violins and make a cool melody, I can have a nice loop and I can uh, start my beat off with that. So this is what I pulled out at first with not even messing with the pitch. Then I was like, man. One, it sounds too much like the original soundtrack, and two, a violin would sound so much better if I if I switched the pitch down. So I turned it down to about 11, 11 pitches, and this is what I got. So I'm working with this right. And I'm Hearing this loop, and I'm just like, man, this is this is a pretty nice loop that I got. Um, then I was like, all right, I need to I need to lay some drums down. I didn't want to do trap trap drums. I really didn't because it's easy and it's and it's basic, and everybody likes to hear something like that. So I found a a kit that had a, a pretty weird sounding snare that I, I it sounds like it's muffed, and I, I kind of liked it a lot. So this is what I, I used it. Um, and the snare sounds like this. So I laid that snare down. I think that's on a three count. And then I just had the loop and this is what it sounded like at first. So that's what I had at first, and then I was like, man, I can't overcrowd the drum pattern because it, uh, it would take away from the violin sound. So I was like, okay, maybe I just need to add one more thing to the drum pattern and then kind of just let the loop ride out and with the drums, with some basic set of drums. So um, I found a, a preset hi-hat pattern that was that's in my... Um, my Ableton library and I liked it a lot and this is what I pulled out from it. It sounds like this. So I added that along with the snare and the loop to kind of start the beat off and this is what it sounded like. So um, after I added those hi hats, I was like, okay, sounds good. It needs to switch up though. I can't just have that riding the whole time. It has to has to switch up. So I pulled out another hi hat pattern to between every four bar, and I added an 808 kick along with that that newer uh, hi hat pattern. I hope I'm not. So the second hi hat pattern sounded like this.
and then I added an 808 kick with that with those hi-hat patterns only so that the 808 kick is not gonna play with the other pre-hi-hat pattern and this is what I got to keep the, the 808 kick pattern kind of basic uh, I like the the multiple uh, kicks in between because it adds some more flavor to the beat so this is what it sounds like with the kicks and the pre hi-hat pattern along with the loop and the snare that's that for the beat man uh i put that the kick in the pre the new hi-hat pattern every four bars and then it switches back into the older hi-hat pattern and then there's a um, a pause in the beat and then those just loop again and again um, it was a pretty basic beat to to make but sometimes basic is good man especially when it comes to uh, to music man you can't overcrowd stuff and people tend to like it a lot of people like this beat I put it on my SoundCloud you have to go follow my link I'll probably put that in the description for this uh, for this video but yeah man that's it um, I'll play it one more time and then that's pretty much it for the process I'm glad you guys watched and uh, keep watching man keep watching